and action. Hi everyone, I'm Bill. Now get comfortable. I'm going to tell you about a little adventure that Alice and I went on. We had to move to the big city to start a new life. And today is our last day on the farm that we call home. You see, Alice's dad had just gotten married to a wonderful woman who keeps lots of leftovers in her house, like meatloaf and pizza and ice cream and chicken and sandwiches and pizza and hot dogs and You know, they ration food in the city. There's a good chance you'll be cooked. Come on, Ellie. We have a long drive. Okay. It's not that bad. You're gonna make plenty of friends, and your cousin Courtney's there. Dad, I don't even know her. And the last time I saw her, I was five, and she put gum in my hair. Come on, just a few more things. Do I have to call her mom? No, sweetie. I know this has been tough on you, but let's just try to make the best of it. Know that I'm here, and that I love you, and I will always be here for you. Hi, Hi. Let me show you around your new house. John, will you get the boxes? I want to give our daughter a grand tour. You have fun. I'll be here if you need me. have arrived. Why do you always say that? Well, I could say, I'll be back, or here's Johnny, or... Gonna... We have arrived just fine. Well, I tried. We're just gonna have to go home and eat ice cream all day. Really? No. Get in there and learn something so I can retire. Do you want me to come in with you? No. I could 
carry my best girl's books. No, no, that's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. It's no problem. And Dad, your best girl. You're a dork. But hey, let's try to talk about this. All right. So, sure you don't need me to carry anything? Yes, sure. Okay. All right. Bye. Last chance, last offer. No, I'm fine. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, you must be new here. Yeah, I'm Alex. I'm Rick. When you got here, where'd you talk the horses? Or, or did you have the tractor drop you off? <laughs> nice boots. Rick, get back here. We're in the middle of a discussion. Sit down. We got a race this week. If I win, all year you do my homework. Glad you could join us today. I'm so sorry. Uh, excuses are like bad grades. Everybody's got one. Look at this cowgirl. Watch out! That's enough. That's enough. Grab your books. Open to page 344 and. Hey, how's your first day? That well, huh? I'm Courtney, your cousin. Allison, you probably already know that. I was pretty sure. <laughs> My parents told me you'd be here today. So, I heard you ran into Rick Cooper and his thugs earlier. That was fun. Yeah, his dad owns a car dealership, so he's a rich little jerk. It's your clothes. <laughs> You're dressed differently than they are, so they get scared to make fun of you. Why don't you come over tonight? You can borrow some of my stuff. Really? That'd be awesome. Okay. I will see you tonight. Okay. Bye. Everyone is being so mean to Alice. If only I were there. I'd show him who's boss. At least Alice found one good friend, her cousin, Courtney. Mom says dinner will be ready in 10 minutes. Is that my shirt? It might be. You didn't ask me if you could wear my shirt. Mom bought the shirt. Whatever, ask me next time. She's sticking her tongue out at me, isn't she? Pretty much. Don't be mad at Taylor for the clothes. I'm not. It's just something we do. <laughs> so, what do you do for fun around here? Mm, go to the mall, watch TV, talk about boys. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for fun at the ranch? Less mall, more TV. I spend a lot of time with Bill. Ooh, who's Bill? Is that your boyfriend? He's my best friend. Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> That's Scott. He's in high school, 10th grade. The man I'm gonna marry. <laughs> Does he know that? Well, he doesn't even know my name, so probably <laughs> not. <laughs> you should talk to him. I keep meaning to do that. <laughs> oh, I love this song. Me too! <laughs> Let's dance, girlfriend! <laughs> Like the new look, Allie. But it doesn't change the fact that you're still low rent.
are they doing? Did they run out of people to bully? No. This is the best part of the week. Why is that? Every Saturday, Rick and his buddies race like go-karts. So about halfway through the day Friday, they leave everyone alone and talk about when and when they're gonna meet up. I wanna check that out. You can't. <laughs> Why not? Well, for starters, they don't like us. <laughs> um, two, you can't go unless you have something to race and see who wants to hang out with them anyways. We're doing it. There it is. It's huge. And there he is. Wanna chase him? Are you bloodhound now? Right now? I don't know. I think we lost them. Oh, there, there! Oh, let's go! If I win, you do my homework for the rest of the year. And I mean straight A's.
ghost. Let's get out of here. Brick and Tommy said that if we tell anyone about their bet, that they'd tape us to a tree every day for the rest of our lives. Great. Great. Now, Scott, the man in my dreams. Oh my gosh. Now is not the time to be talking about Scott. What? <laughs> Sorry. Uh... I'm sorry. Sorry. I was saying, the two boys in the car are Dom and Scott. The most beautiful boy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Enough about Scott. Yes. <laughs> Why are you so good at this? At what? You keep setting new records. Oh. My dad taught me how to drive. We used to have a four-wheeler and I'd ride around all the time. She's uh, pretty good at driving too. <laughs> hungry, John. Hi. There's leftovers in the fridge when you girls get hungry. Oh, leftovers. <laughs> Oh, I want a hot dog so bad. I got it. You've got what? I know how to get even with those boys who ruined my life. And how do we accomplish that? Well, you challenge Rick to a race and humiliate him in front of his friends. If I lose, I look like a bigger loser than ever. But I know you can beat him. Besides, what do we have to lose? That's a good plan. One problem. Uh, we don't have a go-kart. <laughs> Let me take care of that. Mom, I'm going to stay the night with Alice tonight. <laughs> My favorite part so far is when I was eating all those leftovers. We should watch that part over and over again. Anyways, it seems like to me that Courtney and Alice are up to something. What are we doing? Whose house is this anyway? Scott's house. <laughs> uh, no offense, but how's your boyfriend, who <laughs> doesn't exist by the way, well, other than being taped to a tree, gonna help us? And how do you know where he lives? You know, he's gonna file a restraining order and that means you have to stay like 150 feet away. Why would he do that? You're a stalker? No. Spoken like a true stalker.
There goes nothing. Okay. Milk already! Mm -mm. Oh. oh! What's upstairs? I mean, did you have me sneak all the way out here no, just so we can I go back home? Where's your brother Scott? He's not here. He left with Dom. Who's your friend? Allie. Her cousin. <laughs> When's your brother gonna be back? Later, I guess. Uh, we really need to talk to him. Well, I'll tell him he came by. Do you know where we can find him? Maybe. Well, this is obviously going nowhere. Rudy, can you just please tell us where your brother is and then we'll be out of your hair. What's in it for me? You can take Courtney to the movies. I he can, can do, do what? what? All right. If you help us, then you can take my cousin to the movies. To see any sci-fi movie you want. How am I supposed to agree to that? Take one for the team. <laughs> Rudy. Uh, if you tell us where your brother is, you can take me to the movies. Any movie? Yes. I mean. So? Do we have a deal? Deal! I can't tell you where he is, but I can show you. So where are your parents anyway? Paris. So they just leave you alone and go out of the country? Scott's watching me. No, he's not. Where are we going? To see Scott, like I told you. Uh -huh. How far is 150 feet? Two telephone poles. Why do you ask? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> Restraining order. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be out of the house. Well, tech... Technically, you're watching me now. And they won't talk to you. <laughs> it's the tree girls. Well, I'm Allie, and this is my cousin Courtney. We were wondering if we could talk to your friend Dom about something. Dom, they won't talk to you. So? Well, we were wondering if you could help us with a go-kart. I don't do that anymore. Well, there's this kid, Rick Cooper. He's a school bully, and he needs to be taught a lesson. I know who he is. Can you please help us? You won almost every race when you were our age. That was then, this is now. No carts, only cars. Now, y'all better get out of here before y'all get hurt. Please help us. This is the only way to get this guy. Yeah, you should go home before something bad happens. You guys can't give up that easy. I've been thinking. 
If you guys are gonna get Rick back for all the things he's done, I want him. It's over, Rudy. We don't have a cart. Yes, we do. Come with me. Why do you have this? When Dom was winning all those races, Scott was right there with him. This is Scott stuff? Yeah. Um. Uh, I mean, are you sure your brother won't mind us using this? He probably doesn't even know it's in here anymore. Is there anything else in here that's Scott's? I don't know. Um, well, uh, now we have a cart. But can you drive it? I thought you said it ran. It's been sitting for years. Sorry. You've never wanted to drive it? It doesn't have a keyboard or a mouse, so no. Let's get to work. Make sure you check the throttle cable linkage. Use. We tried. Yes! Oh my oh, god, it was! That was awkward. That was awkward. Any tree huggers lately? <laughs> tree huggers. It involves a lot of duct tape. We have a cart, and we're gonna race. You mean like you and I? Where'd you get this cart? Mm -hmm. Something we put together over the weekend. Was I talking to you, Dweeb? No. You and I, after school, the old parking lot. It's not sure you're already a loser. This won't hurt so bad. They're not coming. Maybe we scared them. We didn't scare them. They'll be here. Nice cart. Did you pick that up at the junkyard? Some of it. 
So what's the bet? No bet, just race. Those aren't the rules we play by. No bet, no race. Let's get out of here. I knew they were scared. Wait. If we win, you have to tell the whole school that you're a loser. And I don't mean a couple people. I mean the whole school. One by one. Fine. Same for you. Get ready to tell everyone how much of a loser you really are. Let's go. Around the pole, four times, nice to know Go. Good job, man. I knew you would win. Get out of my face. You cheated. What's your problem? You won. I want a rematch. You won. What's the problem? It's too close of a race, so either you cheated or I get a rematch. I don't want anyone to talk about this, because whenever I beat you, it'll be by laps, not inches. What is psycho? You were awesome. You almost had him. Thanks. That's why I want to rematch. For his ego. He did everything he could do in that race, and I almost beat him. <laughs> you were great. Thank you. Like a little more practice, maybe I could actually beat him, like for real. It was fun. And I could like punch him in the face. I'd like to see that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hey, you, mechanic. Hey, I'm talking to you. You're going to fix my go-kart. I'm gonna do what? You're gonna stop everything that you're doing and make my go-kart go faster. Listen, I have a lot of work to do. So would you please go bother someone who isn't so busy? All right, you're the guy that used to win all the races, right? Okay, well, you're gonna drop everything that you're doing right now and make my go-kart go faster. You're gonna listen to me, okay. You work for my dad, that means that you work for me too. I just don't want to listen to Alright, thanks. Hey, Dad, I need you to go tell Dom to go fix my go kart. Ask him nicely and he's still Okay, won't. okay, come down, Ricky. Come on. Hey, Dom. Um, can you work on my son's go kart? I, I guess he wants it to go faster. Yes, sir. I'll go grab my tools. Thank you. You better do it right. You got your job. So, Ricky, tell me what's got you so worked up. Just a girl made me look stupid today at school. A girl? At school? Hi. Can I help you? Um, is Allie here? Uh, I'm her father. Is there something I can do for you? Well, can you let no. her know? Hey! Let me just... This one... Just... Real... Real fast. Just... 
Who is this guy? How do you know? How do you get our address? Guys, you... He's like the go kart king. Come on in. Uh, dad, Dom, Dom, Dad. Call me John. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on. Well, what can we do for you today? Nothing, actually. I wanted to offer my help on the car. Awesome. Why would you come down and offer? I work at the dealership with Mr. Cooper. His son Rick came in today really mad because he almost lost to a girl in the car race. <laughs> I figured it was you. Knowing that kid and knowing how much energy he puts in that car, you must be a very good driver or very lucky. Anyways, I thought I might find out how much talent you might really have. Would you all like something to drink? Thank you. Sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Tom, you used to mow my lawn. For four years. Yeah, you were always very helpful. This young man is a hard worker. I think you'd be a great coach for Allie. Tom. This little girl means the world to me. Yes, sir. Keep her safe. Yes, sir. So, where's the car? Come on. It's right over here. Rudy said Dom was wondering where you live. Oh, you're here. You must be Courtney. I've heard a lot about you. What do I need this for? I'm gonna go around the track twice. On my second lap, start the timer. I remember these things being much bigger. He's fast. Very. Extremely. How'd I do? Fifteen seconds. Now, if you're gonna work with me, you're gonna have to get under 14 seconds by the end of the day. All right. Do it again. What? What does it say? It says I'm going to be working with you. So, you like sci-fi movies? 
Not really. Two things. One, if you and I are gonna be on the same team, then that means we only race in real races, not in the streets, unsupervised. Cause boys can do mean things when the dose aren't around. Two, what I told you back there, between us. Got it? Got it. Oh. <laughs> it is? Oh, hello. Oh, are you coming tomorrow night? Dom's gonna work with me because I'm already. I will be there if, of course, it's the the toll. Gross. Good ass giant bean <laughs> over there. So when do I get my rematch? When we decide to race in a real race. So you're scared. <laughs> she said... What'd you say? Wanna get something in a locker? Can I help you with something, little Ricky? Now let go of Rudy's shirt and apologize to him. See, Pilsel McMahon, we weren't really fighting. I was just showing Rudy here how to defend himself if a bully jumped out at him. Sure you were. Next, I bet you're gonna tell me I lost weight. Well, you do look a little... Save it. One more suspension your dad has agreed to send you to military school. Now get to class before I do something that might hurt my reputation as a nice man. It is good to be king. What are you going to do about Rick wanting you to race? I don't know. I promised Don I went to street race. Why did you whisper in your ear yesterday? I can't tell you. Do you think you said anything to Scott about me? Probably not. What's with all the questions anyways? Well, Dom said he heard a lot about me. You know what? Scott and Dom could be sitting in Scott's room right now. Just talking about you. Really think so? No. Scott probably thinks more about mac and cheese than he thinks about you. <laughs> At least he's hearing about me. You're deranged. I'm in love. Scott won't love you back as long as you're a psycho. <laughs> and besides, you'll never get close to him with a restraining order. <laughs> this was happening. I put arrows on the cones in the direction you'll be taking. All you have to do is follow the arrows and not hit any cones. Got it? Got it. I'll go around three times under a minute and a half. What happened? I hit the cone. That doesn't mean you give up. There are gonna be races where things don't go your way. You have to go with the flow. Now get back in the car and do it again. Okay. The gang was spending so much time practicing that they were getting bad grades and falling asleep in class.
Hey, we ain't got all day. Come on now. Get back in the car. Let's go. Time to put you on the track. <laughs> I'll show them. I can't believe I'm at a party with your little brother and his girlfriend. I'm not his girlfriend. <laughs> I don't care. Lighten up. These are good people here. Hey man, I I think we had to go. Just give me up later. Yeah, after are done babysitting. Looking all right? Yes, ma'am. I promised Nicole I'd spend some time with her. <laughs> Dom, you're a good man getting my daughter ready for this race. I salute you. Thank you, sir. There's a chance, little man. She over there thinking about what happened with you and your brother. Go over there and talk to him. <laughs> Be a friend. So Dom, tell me a little bit about yourself. Who are you? Who do you want to be? As you know, I'm a mechanic at the dealership. I love cars. But? My real love is airplanes. I want to work on them, build them, fly them, everything. That's a good goal. You remind me a lot of myself at your age. It's just I don't have enough money to put myself through school and work at the same time. There are companies that send their employees through school. Getting a job at one of those companies is like pulling the tooth. Hey! Hey! My little racer. <laughs> you ready for the race tomorrow? I don't know. What do you think, Dom? I think you're ready. <laughs> Sorry about my brother. He can be a jerk. It's okay. You just build someone up in your head, and when they turn out to be someone else, you kind of get mad at yourself. I built you up in my head, and I'm not mad at myself yet, even with all the weird and gross comments. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rudy. Would you like me to use awkward and disgusting? That's much better. <laughs> hey, you two! Come up here and eat! We have a big day tomorrow. <laughs> And besides, you don't want the food to get cold. So you ready to race? I was born ready. <laughs> Woo! That girl's starting to sound like me. Not a lot of people are here yet. It's a concessions race. There probably won't be a lot of people here. What's the difference between a concessions race and a real race? A concessions race is put on by the park. The park offers you carts, they're a lot slower. A real race, you bring your own car a lot faster. 
We're going to start with concession races, then we'll move to the real races when you're ready. All right, well, let's go. Welcome to the Speed Zone 5. This is Principal McMahon coming to you live from a minivan in the parking lot. Hey, so, so where's the uh, bully, Rick? He's out of town. Thank God. His family went to stay with the grandmother for a while. I think she's sick or something. Oh. Well, I hope she's okay. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. And they're off. It's a slow start for number 18. Far behind the others. It's an absolute nail biter. And the first place goes to number 40! Followed close by number 4, while number 36 rounds out the top 3. And in dead last, number 8. get the next one. You win some, you lose some. You just happen to lose the first one. We're just gonna have to work harder. You're not having fun out there. Hey, Ellie. How's it going? Not good. What's going on? She's not having fun out there. I'm not trying to have fun. I'm trying to get faster. I think, I think what Dom is trying to say is, before the race, it was just you guys out here having fun. And now you're stressing out too much. You have to relax behind the wheel. If you don't relax, you'll lose every time. The smoother you are behind the wheel, the faster you are on the track. I have an idea. You guys wrap it up here, and we'll all meet back at our house. Wait, what are we doing? It's a surprise. OK, so Dom says, you need to relax, but you, you want to practice. So here we are. Come on, guys, let's go. Did you have a good time tonight? Yeah, and Dom taught me some tricks on the track. I don't know how useful those tricks would be on the car track. Anyways, uh, who won the most races? I think Kathy did. What? My car kept getting stuck on the wall. Do you remember what Dom said? Just have fun. Got it. You'll do great. Thanks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good luck. Break a leg. Ow. 
What was that for? Don't tell her to break a leg. That's what actors tell other actors. She's not an actor. She's a kart racer. She could actually break a leg out there. Oh, sorry. Well, at least you're still here. Just have fun. Just have fun. Just have fun. Easy for you to say. Welcome to the Zone Action 8. This is Principal McMahon coming to you from the concession stand. Austin is in the lead, and they're off to an impressive start. But newcomer Alice is following close behind. Corners, the two are dueling it out. Wow, she has improved since her first race. To win? To be good at something. Allie, you can be good at anything you want to. Just set your mind to it and never give up on your dreams. <laughs> oh, God, you're so funny. <laughs> I might sleep on the couch. That, uh, that might be a good idea. Hey, nice race this weekend. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so awesome. Hey, nice race this weekend. What a nerd. Yeah, real nerd. I don't think this is hamburger meat. I think it's still alive. That's what I mean by gross. I um, heard about your race this weekend. Good job. Thanks. Let us know when you race again so we can come watch. Yeah, sure. That's no problem. Quiet without rig around. Yeah, I know. It's like a different school. I'm being pushed into a locker since rig left. I got you out of a locker yesterday. That was an accident. You put yourself in a locker. I said it was an accident. That's what she means when she says weird. Everything you are, I'm gonna be a superstar. 
Alice steals her first first place win. Hey, Allie. Awesome race this weekend. Hey. Get a water, this girl is on fire. like a familiar face has grabbed the lead. And there she is with the checkered flag. This girl is unstoppable. Yeah! Where have you been all day? In a locker. Weird. I didn't do it to myself this time. Rick's back. Did they tell you to come out of that locker? Nope. Rick, what are you doing? Just going to class, sir. Well, get there. Okay. Hey, Rick, I hope your grandma feels better. She's fine. She just had a plastic surgery. Whatever. Hey, great race this weekend. Thanks. Get to class. Get to class. <laughs> What's going on here? Nice race this weekend. You guys act like such little girls. Well, she did win. Shut up. She's ruining our reputation. I have to fix this. This is problem. Come on, Bill. Come on. Roll over, Bill. Oh, come on. You're a good boy. You want to cheat? Come on. Come on. Go on. You can do it. Come on, Bill. What are you trying to do to my reputation? Shut up, dog. I heard the dog's been helping you race. No, I've been doing it by myself, I swear. All right, I lost all my respect for my boys since you're running around town as a little gang of losers. So you're gonna race me now, so I can show everyone who the real master is. No! If you don't, I'm gonna tell my dad that Dom's been stealing from the company. You know what he's gonna do? He's gonna have fired, even possibly arrested. Do you want that? Parking lot, 10 minutes, be there. If you're not, you go visit Dom's jail. Allie, where are you going? Allie! Where are you going? I wonder where she's going. Yeah, I got that. When she gets here, I'll distract her. You loosen her right rear tire. What are you scared of, a little girl? Loser. Can we I hang out with you? Remember, when I distract her.
What are the stakes? I win, you stop racing. You win, I leave you and your friends alone. And Dom. Um, and Dom. Um, deal. Come on, guys, hurry up! Get over here, she's Alice is unconscious. I don't know what to do. What? I don't know what happened. Allie! Allie! Help me flip it, man. Just help me flip it. Haven't you done enough? Push it! Well, that just makes me mad. Someone needs to teach that Rick kid a lesson. And did you see him kick me? That's just rude. Luckily, Alice didn't suffer from any injuries, but it sure did make her feel a tad bit defeated. That's all right, though. Alice is a pretty tough cookie. Oh, I love cookies. Sunday, 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 the car way. Oh, turn it. I never want to think about go-karts again. Come on, we're watching the show. Well, you can turn it back on the commercials. Come in. Hey, you have a visitor. Dom? Great, one of our local thugs. Hey, now be nice, Rudy. Why don't you guys go downstairs and have a soda? Tommy's mom called to tell me what happened the day of the wreck. Tommy wanted to come by and see how you're doing. I feel really bad about what happened. Rick is just out of control. And I know he threatened you into racing him that night. And I know that he messed with your cart to make you crash. I will tell whoever I need to to get him in trouble. But the only way to teach him a lesson is for you to beat him in a race. Every time he thinks about you winning, it drives him crazy. I think he should enter in this race that's coming up. And when you cross that finish line before him, everyone will rub it in his face. Tommy, why don't you give us a minute? I'm very sorry about what happened. Hey. You know, I was your age too once. I was Back then, the gymnast, and I was going places. I trained hard, and I loved every minute of it. And one day, my coach and I were working on a new release move on the uneven bars, and I pretty much perfected it. And I was practicing it one last time for the day. My hand slipped. Yeah, I fell. You hit my head. <laughs> that explains a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I had to wear a neck brace for a while, and when I got the neck brace off, I was terrified to get back up on the bars. And you know what? I've regretted that my whole life. I just don't want you to go through life having regrets like I have had. You know, I know I'm not your mom. She's looking down on you. And if she were here, I know she would say the same thing that I'm about to say. Instead of sitting here watching TV with your friends anymore, I think you should go out there and get that cart out of the garage and get it ready to race. <laughs> I think she would say that too. Yeah. <laughs> but what is my dad going to say? No, oh, don't worry about your dad. Dropped on my hat or not, I can be pretty darn convincing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> wants to go to a race. <laughs> Alright, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna have to move fast. What are you still doing here? I'm staying to help. I didn't do anything to stop this from happening, so I'm gonna do everything I can to make it right. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, well, first things first, uh, let's call Dom. 
Not going to happen. Why not? Rick had his dad tell Dom that if he helped you anymore, he'd fire him. That's just mean. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to move forward, I guess. All right, well, let's get to work again. Hey. Hey. So, what are we all excited about? <laughs> we're getting the cart ready for tomorrow's race. Alice, Diana, can I speak to you in your room, please? Yes, sir. Let's do something. I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. We could have lost you two months ago. And, and now you're at it again? I don't want to hear it. Dad, just hear me out, please. You know how you tell me never to give up on a dream? Well, right now you're telling me to give up on my dream. You're not gonna lose me. I'm not mom. And I know I messed up, but I won't do it again. And I promise I'll be careful. And I want you there with me when I win. Please? What did he say? He didn't say anything, which means he said no. So no racing? So no beating Rick? We tried. We didn't try hard enough. Where are you going? To ask again. So, what do we have to do to get this cart ready to race? Yes! Don't tell me anything. What did you say to him? Nothing. You said it all. Let's hear. Remember that. After the first week, just don't speak. You're just misunderstanding. Just don't speak. You're way too condescending. Six long months.
then? Good morning, Alan. Good morning. I got you something. Ooh, a racing suit and a helmet for today's race. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow, this is awesome. Black. Nice. <laughs> That's so awesome. Get this. Good. Thank you. I know I'm not dumb, but I figured you could use the pep talk. So here goes. Get out there and whack some tiger. Uh, do you mean kill him? <laughs> Whatever. Kill him, tiger. <laughs> I wish Dom Dom's was... Dom's here. Yeah. No, Dom's here with your dad. What? Dad! Dom! We got here, and I knew we forgot something. I'm glad you came. I'm happy to be here. What about Rick's dad? He said he'd fire you if you helped me race. You're more important than that job. Let's get you ready to race. Uh, what's that? This is the car you're gonna be racing. Drives the same, but faster. This is awesome. Hey, what is he doing here? Well, that's none of your business, That's Rick. none of my business. Because when I see my dad, you no longer have a job. Okay, racers, now is the time. Get your carts to the starting line. I need to adjust the throttle before you go out. We need to buy some time. What do we do? Where's Rudy? is doing here is giving Dom time to fix Alice's cart. He's gonna try and splash the racers and get them out of their cars. Why he has a smiley face on his chest? I don't know. Okay, it's all done. Okay, okay, okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm sorry about my friend. He has a few screws loose. You need to watch him, because if he does it again, he's going to get kicked out. Thank, Thank you, security, security, for getting, getting the guy off, off the track. The track. I can do this. Welcome everyone to the first annual North Texas Cartway Race. Nice knowing you. We could have lost you two months ago. Allie! No, I know what you mean. 
She's looking down on me. back and forth. Look at them go, people. Ooh, it looked like they rubbed tires just for a second. Battling for first place, they're coming to an end, and the winner is Alice! and 7pm, so racers, make sure you have all of your information checked and copied and turned into the information desk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You cheated! Sure your carts are ready to be checked. She didn't cheat, you're just a loser. What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing. Courtney, can I talk to you? I just want to say, I think you're a wonderful girl, but I think I'm just a little bit too old for you. <laughs> it's okay. I think I like someone else. Go get him. You better step off my boyfriend.
Principal McMahon tells me you got someone else doing your homework these days. Uh, 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 Dad, Dad, Dad it, it wasn't my idea. It was his idea. I love you, Dad. I love you, Allie. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Dom, you have a job interview in my office, Monday morning at 8 a.m. Please don't be late. So what does your dad do? He's a pilot. What was that all about? I think my dad just got Dom a job. Aww. <laughs> Look at you two love birds. <laughs> well, it happens. <laughs> Are you gonna tell me what Dom was in your ear? Why not? <laughs> Said, go get on that go-kart and whip that kid. As for Rick, well, I'd say that everyone had enough of Rick's bullying, including his dad. And his dad was not joking about military school. Well, I think I'm gonna go find a piece of cake and curl up next to Alice. But stay tuned, you're really gonna enjoy this next part. We're gonna put you in a locker, boy. Daddy? You're just another hot chick with a stare that kills. Everyone's got you up on a pedestal. But inside you're empty, empty and cold. You dress yourself up, a master of disguise. Hiding out in your evil Gucci cloak of lies. But everyone's friendship, the daddy's gold. You wanna make me an outcast, but in the end I will outlast. All the drama that you do me, are you burning up with them? Because I'm not just like you.
Cause I don't care what you think You gained and lost my trust After the first week Shush, don't speak You're just misunderstanding Shush, don't speak You're way too condescending Six long months, it's been And you never get to know me Two more weeks till I leave So you'll never know me Stop putting thoughts in my head Looking for a book you never read Okay, enough It's none of your business So you 